to this week's installment of Math to Peace Theatre. In our previous episode, we discussed the possible uses of sample data in the estimations of population characteristics. However, sample data was also very useful in uh, proving claims, such as hypotheses, about population characteristics. In other words, Hypothesis testing is what you do when you got two competing claims you want to prove. Which one is false and which one is true? Gee. In setting up your hypothesis test, you of course start with two hypotheses. The null hypothesis, denoted by H subscript O, is claimed about a population characteristic that is initially assumed to be true. And then you have the alternative hypothesis, denoted by H subscript A, is the competing claim. In carrying out a test of H sub O versus H sub A, the hypothesis H sub O will be rejected in favor of H sub A only if sample evidence strongly suggests that H sub O is false. If the sample does not contain such preposterous evidence, H sub O will be rejected. The po two possible conclusions are the re rejected H sub O or the failed to reject H sub O. The form of the null hypothesis is H sub O population characteristic equals the hypothesis value, where the hypothesized value is a specific number determined by the problem context. The alternative hypothesis will have one of the following three forms. H sub A, population characteristic, is greater than hypothesis value. H sub A, population characteristic, is less than the hypothesis value. And of course, H sub A, the population characteristic does not equal the hypothesis value. Let's examine the types of error that can occur, shall we? A type 1 error, the error of rejecting H sub O when H sub O is true. Type 2 error, the error of failing to reject H sub O when H sub O is false. So like, you know, Say that H sub O is like, uh, some brother is innocent, you know, and then like, got the type 1 error. That's like, you know, if this brother was innocent, should you put him in jail? That's a big mistake, man. And like, type 2 error, that's where like, yo, the brother did, he's guilty, man, you let him go. That's not as big of an error. Each hypothesis test is included with a level of significance. The probability of type 1 error is denoted by alpha, and is called the level of significance of the test. Thus, a test with alpha level equaling 0.01 is said to be have a level of significance of 0.01, or to be a level 0.01 test. The probability of a type 2 error, in fact, is denoted by beta. The level of significance is a certain type of error probability. Alpha type 1, type 2 is beta, which looks kind of like a B. Alpha's gotta be small, but not too little, or screw up the data. The smaller the alpha, the larger the beta. Each hypothesis test has a test statistic, which we scholars like to refer to as the testistic. Oh, ha, ha. You see, it's a tongue twister which is the function of the sample data on which the conclusion to reject or fail to reject H sub O is based. The p-value, also sometimes called the observed significance level, not quite as witty, however, it is a measure of inconsistency between the hypothesis value for a population characteristic and the observed sample. Come to sweet and sour chicken, it's so good at finger licking, I like to eat Mongolian beef. It is the probability, assuming that H sub O is true, of obtaining a test statistic value at least as inconsistent with H sub O as the actual resulted value. You fail to reject a hypothesis if P is great for show, but if P be less than or equal to Gotta reject the hoe, yo! Reject the hoe! Reject the hoe! Reject the hoe! Reject the hoe! 
The decision as to whether H2O should be rejected results from comparing the p-value to the chosen alpha, the level of significance of the test. H2O should be rejected if the p-value is less than or equal to alpha. And, of course, H2O should not be rejected if the p-value is greater than alpha. Number one. Population characteristic for show. Number two. Here's the H sub O. Number three. Be the H sub A. Number four. Is alpha the Greek letter for A. Number five. Display the test statistic. Number six. Make sure your assumptions are realistic. Number seven. Compute what you did in five. Number eight. The p-value will be realized. Number nine. Make the conclusion and make it known. Gotta let, let them know to reject, reject the hoe! 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 Reject it! Reject the hoe!